This is my 2002 BMW E46 M3 and I purchased it not too long ago for only $3,000. The body was in good shape, the title was clean, the only issues it had was related to the SMG transmission, but I quickly resolved that and converted it over to a traditional 6-speed manual. It was time to have a little bit of fun and start modding this car. I figured I'll start with the exhaust since it sounds pretty bad. So yeah, we're looking to get more sound out of this baby right here. Hey guys, Christian here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Glad to have you here. Today we're gonna be installing the first mod onto the E46 M3, an aftermarket exhaust, but not just any aftermarket exhaust. The best sounding aftermarket exhaust for this platform, in my opinion, of course. Well, technically, I can't really say it's the best sounding one because I haven't really heard it in person yet. But based on the comparison between that one and the other ones that I've heard online on YouTube, it sounded pretty damn good. So it could only sound better in person, right? This is the very first garage you get when you start your campaign on GTA. And if I ever decide to do any DIYs, well, this is where the magic happens. And this package right here is the star of today's show, the aftermarket exhaust. Pretty big box. Let's go ahead and open up the package and uh, see what it looks like. Ta-da! My new aftermarket exhaust, guys. Looks so, so good. Maybe I should take off the bubble wrap so you guys can get a better look. And there you have it. My God, it is such a beauty. Look at those tips. They're gonna look so good coming out of the rear end of the M3. This is a freaking beautiful exhaust, guys. Um, I don't even know if the video does it any justice, but it's very clean. Very nice stainless steel construction, manual built pipes. The weldings are really clean. The tips are just freaking awesome. Definitely gonna give the car a more aggressive look. And what's good about this exhaust is that you're also saving weight. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's like 30 pounds or so compared to the stock one. So it's a plus in every single angle. More airflow, sounds better weighs less immediately after driving the car i knew i needed an exhaust but which one i spent weeks online looking at videos going through forums and seeing other people's opinions to see which would be the perfect exhaust for this car i ultimately decided to go with the rogue engineering el diablo exhaust because man it just stood out from the rest there was only one issue they were so hard to come by you couldn't find them used and if you wanted to buy them new they were never in stock Thanks to Ben at Rogue Engineering, he allowed me to get their last one from their previous batch at a small discount. There's a huge amount of R&D put into this exhaust, guys. Multiple revisions, they refused to release this system until it was perfect. After they finally released the final version of the El Diablo exhaust, there were already 20 other companies making exhaust for the E46 M3. And even with their late arrival, their exhausts are sought out by enthusiasts, they always sell out. And if you don't get your hands on one, you have to wait a few months before you can even attempt to purchase it. If you're interested in learning more about the Rogue Engineering El Diablo exhaust or you wanna pre-order a unit for yourself, I'll leave a link to their website down in the description below. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the M3 here in the garage and then we'll go ahead and start the DIY. All right, so the E46 is inside of the garage, halfway in, halfway out, so I can have enough light to show you guys what's going on, have the exhaust ready to be installed. And I got this cardboard laying on the floor so I don't get too dirty. Excuse me, BMW M6 GT3. And then we're gonna use this to help me install the exhaust. I have this Pittsburgh two-piece portable ram set for the rear wheels and I bought some wheel chucks from the front wheels so uh, the car doesn't roll away. Both these products are very affordable at Harbor Freight. I think these wheel chucks were like 10 bucks and the ram set was like 35, 40 bucks. And I am very happy to tell you guys that I'm actually sponsored by Harbor Freight. This is my black E93 right here that they're using to market their product. I know it's a secret, I never told you guys, but yeah, now you guys know the truth.
Tell me that exhaust doesn't sound a bit underwhelming. And this actually sounds a little better than stock um, because one of the cats up front are completely loose. It's like it's not even there, which allows for more airflow and more sound. But yeah, sounds pretty bad. This was my very first time ever using ramps, which is why it took me a while to reverse it. It was a bit of an uncomfortable feeling, but once I got it to the flat surface, I knew I did it right. Well, this doesn't seem right. It's not laying flat. Maybe I went a little too far back. I'm gonna go ahead and move the car forward just a bit. There you go, much better. All right, let me go ahead and put the wheel chucks right there. And the other one right there. I've heard that installing a new exhaust to the M3 can be pretty challenging. Um, not the installation itself because it's pretty simple. Bolts, hangers, just like any other exhaust install. But apparently removing the stock one, this is a very, very heavy unit. And typically it should be a job for two people. I don't have anybody available today, so I'm doing it myself. I'll probably just use a jack to lower it. I think I should be fine, but I've heard it's very, very heavy. All right, so before I install the exhaust, let me give you guys a reason to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I actually bought some active auto work catless headers for the M3 as well. So the combination of the headers and the exhaust is gonna sound very good. That's gonna be in the next M3 episode. I'm not gonna DIY this because it's a little complicated. I'm gonna get it over to the guys at PSI and have them do it. If you don't want to miss out on the installation and how the combination is going to sound, make sure to subscribe, notification bell on, that way you don't miss it. All right, so let's see what we're working with on the hair. To be honest, I haven't even looked up a tutorial yet, so I'm not sure um, what the process is to remove this exhaust, but most of them are pretty simple and pretty much the same. Luckily, I have this wide angle lens right here so I can kind of show you guys, but we got the bolts here for these two pipes. And then we have the hanger, which is right here. And got this beat up hanger, which is right here as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you are looking to do exhaust work yourself to the E46 M3, I do recommend you spray WD-40 or something equivalent to the bolts one hour before you decide to remove the exhaust. I first went ahead and loosened up the four clamp bolts attached to the pipes. I didn't loosen all the bolts all the way, just a little bit. Then I was gonna go ahead and put the jack underneath the exhaust and then continue removing the bolts. Normally the two exhaust hangers on the driver's side have four bolts, two on each of them. In my case, I only had one on each of them, which is very reassuring. Space back here can get pretty cramped when removing these nuts and these bolts. To make things easier, you can just go ahead and remove the rear bumper and you have a lot more space to play with. Now time to get the jack and put it right underneath the exhaust and start uh, taking the bolts off. By the way guys, uh, the new exhaust probably would have already been installed on the M3 but because I'm also filming, it takes almost twice as long. So I'd appreciate it if you guys are enjoying the video. Hit the like button, it does help the channel out. All right, so I have a bit of an issue. There's a bolt. Like, there's this one, right? But there's another one, like, right behind this rubber. And it's impossible to get up there. How the hell am I supposed to get to that bolt? I'd have to pull the hanger off to the side. I think that's gonna be the only way to get this exhaust on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and lower the jack and see what happens. There's still that one hidden bolt on this side, but I feel like if I um, lower the exhaust just a bit. Maybe I can get to it. Mm-hmm. There we go. I see what's going on. I have to pull it this way. There you go. Oh God, it's heavy. <laughs> all right well that wasn't too smart let me show you guys why it was a little bit difficult to completely lower the exhaust it was because of this hanger right here there's a easily accessible bolt here but on the back side there's another bolt like right behind this portion of the hanger which i couldn't get to so essentially what i had to do was shift the exhaust a little bit to the driver's side 
and um, pretty much uh, give enough clearance to pop this out of the hanger. And yeah, that's how I load it. And yeah, guys, saying that this exhaust is heavy, the stock exhaust, is an understatement. This is a very, very heavy. So definitely be very careful if you're looking to do this yourself at home. Preferably have another person to help you hold it. Um, because as you noticed, the jack only did so much. It tipped over on the left-hand side. And it could be very easily to get injured. Like I said earlier, um, Ali from PSI did kindly give me another exhaust hanger that's in pretty good shape. The reason I couldn't get the one off on the passenger side is because the rubber is completely like mangled to one side and it's covering the portion where the bolt is at. So I'm gonna see if I can remove the other one and replace it with this one. That way I don't have that issue. My God, just look at this beauty. It's a work of art compared to that turd over there. No offense to anybody that's rocking the stock exhaust. I'm not talking about the exhaust you guys are running, even though it's pretty much the same. I'm just talking about mine. Mine is a turd. The ones you guys have, it's not a turd. This one is though. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the hangers off of that and then get them on the new exhaust and install it. The two bolts that are holding the hangers, those are a 13 millimeter as well. This one there, there, and on the other one, passenger side. This one's gonna be very interesting because <laughs> what the hell is this? I'm just gonna see if I can remove this and then get it on the other exhaust. So a couple of things. Um, exhaust hangers, I went ahead and installed it to the new exhaust. I did notice that there is some play. And I think the reason that Rogue Engineering supplies that on this exhaust is so you can really customize how the exhaust tips fit on the backside, lower, higher, uh, you know, a little bit slanted and stuff like that. So this is for customization abilities so you can get the fitment precise. You see on like the stock one, it just has one hole and that's the only way you can tighten it. The Diablo exhaust has like a longer slit so that way you can really dial it in. Uh, this side, I was gonna go ahead and install the new hanger, but I realized that I cannot remove the hanger that's underneath the car. It's so jacked up that I can't get to that last bolt and I don't know how else to remove it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the exhaust, just like this, just how the stock one was. And then when I go to PSI later this week to install the headers, and then I'll have those guys uh, adjust it since we can get the car in a lift and it'll be much easier to work on the car. But for now, we're gonna just attempt to install it with this crap. Let me give you guys a better look. Like it's completely mangled. The bolt looks up here. And then you see this metal frame on this side. The one on this side is completely bent to that side. I can't unbend it. It's so stupid. I can't even get a wrench up there. I cannot get a wrench up there to unloosen it. So it's pretty much just stuck there. So I'm just gonna have to use that other phony piece until I get it to PSI. And then I'll have them just kind of cut this off. Very heavy, very heavy. Well, I kind of ran into an issue installing the new exhaust. I'm missing two nuts to uh, tighten up the bolts to the exhaust pipe. Let me show you. You see the old exhaust? It has these nuts kind of like built in to this part of the exhaust. And that's what locks the bolt in there. Same with this side, you see it? There's this, it's like a nut, but it's, it's built into it. It's not removable. You see with the new exhaust, it doesn't have anything like that built in, so I can't tighten it. Yeah, there's no way of tightening it because I don't have a nut that's gonna be uh, the right size for this. So that pretty much means that I'm gonna have to go take a trip over to Ace Hardware and get the necessary nuts to tighten those bolts up. Okay, so we are back and I went ahead and got the nuts for the bolts. These are eight by 1.25, I believe, metric. So yeah, time to install them.
You know what I'm really surprised at? The freaking fitment actually came out spot on. Um, the hangers on the driver's side, I did adjust them a little bit so they can sit higher. But there was only so much I could do from left to right because of the stupid freaking piece that's on this side that really doesn't supposed to be that way. But you know what? Look at that. Look at that fitment. Oh my god, it came out good. It's not touching the cutout at all. Oh yeah, this is good. Look at it. Tell me that does not look freaking dope. Oh yeah, those tips look much more aggressive. You know what's really funny? You see those lines up here? Originally I thought those were like scars, you know, from El Diablo. You got some on this side as well. Um, no, that's just plastic to protect the tips. I never took the plastic off. Good thing I noticed before I, I turned on the, the car. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I like it. Nothing like a satisfying unwrapping of the exhaust tips. Oh, yeah. Much more shinier now. Before, I thought it had more of a matte look. But, no, it's definitely, uh... Like a polished chrome look after you take this plastic off oh yeah oh this looks beautiful this looks absolutely beautiful i bet you it sounds beautiful too i know when it comes to exhaust you got some hot boys out there that like their tips to stick out a lot you know to the point where you can stand on them and ride along uh not me i like my flush fitment with just a little bit coming out so you can see yeah you see that Ooh, that's my type of fitment. They come out just enough to fit flush with the upper section right here. Oh yeah, this is this is some quality stuff. Typically when you go with cheaper exhaust, fitment is just not as good as what you guys see right here. You guys know what time it is. It's time to start up the M3 for the first time since installing the new exhaust. Let's do this. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not going to rev it too much here in the neighborhood because I'm going to piss some people off. I'm going to get in the car, go for a drive, rev it somewhere else. Sadly, I don't know what it sounds like because I have nobody to rev it while I sit back here. Um, so I'm going to have to just review the footage and give you my impressions afterwards. Okay, so this is what the Diablo exhaust sounds like when you're in the driver's seat. Windows open. That sounds very good.
Final thoughts, this exhaust is on another level. This video won't do it justice, guys, because I've heard it online and I thought it was good, but now I'm hearing it in person and it's so much better. There is a reason why this El Diablo exhaust is never in stock and why it's almost impossible to find them used. And if you do find them, they're normally selling them for almost the same price you get them new because of the demand. And the overall sound of the M3 is only gonna get better once I install those Catless headers. And if you don't wanna miss that video, make sure to subscribe.